cancer anatomy. Remember, BPD students here, anatomy is very important subject for you. You may have physiology in first year, you may have biochemistry in first year, you may have psychosociology in first year. Do not forget anatomy. It will meet you in second year in exercise therapy as well as electrotherapy. It will meet you in third year in PT cardio. It will meet you. The neurology chapter of anatomy will meet you in fourth year as PT neuro, orthopedics. And anatomy is every question from second year, third year, fourth year. Please observe. It's anatomy, anatomy and the disorders of anatomy. What do you study? future. So your basic of anatomy in first year for BPT is very critical, very important. Your anatomy, you sell any of your textbooks, do not sell your anatomy textbooks because they will meet you in second year, third year and fourth year. So BPT for me is actually is anatomy. BPT, remember something already, you know, biomechanics, it runs parallel with anatomy or what we studied the joints here in biomechanics. Also, you studied the same kinetics and movements there. So how do you answer BPD anatomy paper? Remember, yes, you have three things to study there, the upper limb, the lower limb, as well as the head and neck with neurology. Obviously, upper limb will include thorax, abdomen, lower limb will always include the pelvic region as well as the back. So uh, you have a video of mine, there are three videos of mine which you can uh, see in the YouTube. I will leave, leave the link below here for the uh, guessing the questions for BPT paper. More than 2000 views. It is quite very, very well to do videos which are helping most of the students to pass. That's a very important stuff for you to remember. Yeah, BPT students, remember one thing. When you are reading, read the first thing, joints. Do not ignore any joints. This is a this is an bedrock principle for you do not include uh, do not ignore any joints obviously the muscles as well as the movements every muscle here do not leave it because if you study this both they will meet you as well as in all your future classes and this foundation of this two stuff is very important then then you have to go for and if i'm reading i'll first finish off the joints and the muscles and movements then i'll go for studying the neuroanatomy which is a little bit difficult portion and it's supposed to be i have uh, the given some questions only about uh, 25 to 17 20 questions of neuroanatomy read only that i mean if you trust me if you read only that there are some people who may not uh, accept me but you read only what i have given that's that's the questions which come for uh, GUHS examinations so bpd paper if i'm reading is first joints then the muscles then i'll go for neuroanatomy and then the rest things i will just study so how do you answer bpd anatomy is about 100 marks paper this is a 100 marks paper which has uh, the first main carrying about uh, two questions for 10 marks carrying uh, uh, going for 20 marks you have a choice here then second main is the most important it's about uh, 60 marks we have 12 fives or 60 with two choices and the third main it holds about 20 marks again if it comes to 100 here here there are no choice you have only choice in first main as well as in second main and no choice in third main so let's go now how do we how do we answer the paper what are the basic uh, the formula remains the same here if you're answering a 10 marks question, remember any 10 marks question, the, the 10 marks question generally are three number. First, first will be from the joints. It will be classify the joints. I classify the the joint, describe anyone. Anyone you can go to my link video. It is either shoulder joint, hip joint. Most probably these are the two favorite joints. Then you come across the second question from CNS chapter. That is a neurology. And third one may come from any of the PT, sorry, in the cardiology or any of these uh, questions may come from here, the brachial plexus or anything. It comes here. So 10 marks question remember one thing if this is the booklet what you are answering 10 marks question always just write introduction this is common principle which i teach to all my students introduction is must it carries two marks every question has introduction so do not forget the introduction don't just don't dump to the answer write in paragraph format then go for description then diagrams remember all as i always tell diagrams are the most important thing diagram you draw diagrams you pass Catches win matches, you draw diagrams, you pass. That's the very important thing. Full page diagram for 10 marks. Whatever you're drawing, draw for 10 marks. You're going to write at least five to six pages to seven pages. I know you, some of the students may not agree with this point. There are five to six pages. So you see the... Uh, quality what we have written the quality of answer what we have written and not the quantity you're counting the papers yes pardon me yes some people generally tend to count the papers you have written so answer you cannot write for a 10 mark we don't have if even if you write two papers how, how how much marks you expect me to give just four and three because you cannot cover all the points so to 10 marks question you need to write about most probably uh, five to six pages and write uh, introduction first 
description at least 10 marks question should carry two to three diagrams yes sir yes two to three diagrams students practice diagrams with labelations neat diagrams with labelations followed by a few more descriptions and your answer like always the blood supply venous drainage nurse supply and applied anatomy let me tell you something very important when the examiner is correcting your booklets remember something he first sees the introduction then he goes for description he reads the booklet he reads your booklet from obviously from the first page second page he gives the marks at the end when you have written the applied aspect so tend to impress him in this area when he sees your booklet he doesn't give the marks immediately he's going to read the entire booklet when you are ending the answer when you're ending the answer try to uh, write about applied aspects at least a disease name every part from the hair to the toe we have diseases right just write the name applied aspects the examiners are doctors themselves they are correcting the paper and they just tend to uh, see mm, you know like uh, how you have written and uh, how you have ending your answers unfortunately for some bpd student there are people who are just qualified with the msc they just take anatomy for them and those people, I'm sorry, they have no applied aspect knowledge. Please forgive me. They have no applied aspect uh, knowledge generally. They tend to read and explain to you. You need uh, generally the doctors who, who know. You know, if, when you're teaching applied aspects, this is going to meet you in second year, third year, and fourth year. If a teacher is teaching you hip joint, she should know what is gout. What is osteoarthritis? What is osteopetrosis? What is osteoporosis? And they should at least give you an early introduction here and uh, tend to write fill up here. I'm sorry, most of the students, most of the faculties are MSc students. I'm sorry they have, if they, uh, they have no knowledge about that. So I may be wrong. I may be correct, but just, uh, just telling you a hidden part of it. So this is how you're going to answer a 10 marks question. If you're going to answer a five mark question, at least write uh, three to four pages with introduction. The same format remains the same. Introduction, description, draw full page diagram. For five marks question, one full page diagram holds good. If you want to do two, your wish doesn't matter, but keep a eye. You have three hours paper. You have three hours paper and you have uh, uh, three hours for 100 marks. Divide the time. Remember, I, I mean, most of you, uh, if you're asking me, it's my personal opinion. Don't follow this or follow this. You have answering, try to answer the 10 marks question first. They carry 20 marks and they tend to finish it off, finish it within one hour. Then the next part of our give to you are 12 marks into 5, uh, that is about 60 marks. Or you want to answer 60 marks first, depends upon you. Or you want to answer the 2-2 two, two marks first, depends upon you. You do as it pleases for you, how, how if you are comfortable. How you are comfortable, you're trying to do that. So for 10 marks, I have told you already, introduction, description, 3-4 uh, to four diagrams of 5 marks. You're going to draw at least 1 or 2 diagrams and pertaining to it. Diagram should be very neat for 2 marks question, answer to the point. How much ever you write, name the carpels, name the tarsals what is the uh, you know nucleus of cerebellum what is um, the parts of the divisions of the uh, any of the medulla oblongata uh, most of the questions from the ligament of bigelow Baldes, lymphatic ring all this come two marks answer to the point because how much are you right they give one one and a half marks not more than that so you're going to tend to lose the marks and remember always one golden line no student fails by 10 20 marks you fail only by three to four marks maximum five marks or six marks not beyond that so tend to answer do not leave anything if you have first main second main and third main tend to answer do not get up before and uh, go out of the exam hall tend to till the last moment till the bell rings and they snatch the paper keep on writing and uh, draw diagrams keep some five ten minutes uh, sorry five minutes of your time to go back and check all the answers what you have written remember this is the first and the last time you're going to answer anatomy you're not going to go back again to answer anatomy so give you a best presentation so bpt students Concentrate on my videos, which are very helpful. I have 2K views, so I cannot be wrong in this matter. I get emails from students who are asking me um, more points. So this video is meant for those students, mostly from North India, who have asked me uh, uh, to make this video, how to answer the paper. Because exams are coming up, tend to start practicing and always solve three hours paper in your hostel, in your room, at least two to three papers. Then you go for the anatomy exam. Remember, BPT students, your first paper is anatomy, not biomechanics. So see the importance given by university itself for anatomy uh, paper. 
almost MBBS, BDS, every paper, anatomy is first. We are first always, so answer perfectly. And let me tell you something, a psychological advantage. You have done anatomy very well. Automatically on the day two or the day three, you will do physiology well. You will do automatically all the papers. You'll get a boost of confidence to do all the papers well. If your anatomy done is done very bad and you've answered everything, next day when you have physiology or the alternate day, you will not answer physiology well. You will have that, you know, come on, come on, I'm failing. That's it. I don't have any hope and all those things that tilt you will be just going and you'll be blundering so anatomy is the first paper do fresh neat very well you are gonna pass with very good marks and tend to answer do not ignore any question answer everything always feel free to email me at dr underscore j a h a n z e b at the rate of hotmail.com this is my email i provided a link below also and I've not made the video very long and boring. I'm not fast. Just rewind the video, share with your classmates in the WhatsApp group. Help me grow and uh, ask me any questions in anatomy. I'll try it. It's my passion to teach anatomy. And I'll let you let me help you in all the aspects. How to answer 10 marks, 5 marks and 2 marks. I made the video very simple. And uh, anything you want to be free to email me. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.